Hey everybody, Ben Whalen here with the Kennebec Cases Watershed Restoration Committee. In 2013, following a previously successful restoration project on his property, John McGibbon asked the Kennebec Cases Watershed Restoration Committee to develop a restoration plan for another heavily eroded stream bank on another one of his properties. The eroding stream bank was approximately 55 meters in length and ranged in height from 140 centimeters to 205 centimeters. The entire length had exposed soils and gravels and possessed little to no riparian vegetation. Following some investigation, the KWRC decided to prescribe a new restoration approach in the form of georolls, which we completed in 2014. Georolls are a mat made from biodegradable materials. The materials are woven together to hold back eroding soils and promote growth of grasses and vegetation. They are affordable, easy to handle, and available, and so the KWRC wanted to test the applicability on our own medium-sized streams. Other tools and materials needed for the job included lots of wooden stakes, sledgehammers, shovels, water pumps, and hoses, and grass seed. The first step in the installation process was installing a silt fence. It was placed completely in the dry portion of the bank, which greatly reduced our risk of putting sediment into the water unnecessarily. With the silt fence in place, we began to back silt the bank using a well-maintained excavator. We had our wetland and watercourse alteration permit on location at all times. We sloped the bank to a 3 to 1 slope and this would create the base for our geo rolls. On each end of the site we excavated a keyway where rock material would be placed to better secure the site against erosion during high water. The next step was the installation of a boulder or rock toe. This hardened feature will prevent our geo rolls from being undercut. To install this we excavated a trench along the water line to just below the natural substrate level and placed oversized rock which would later be buried. We could now start to lay out our first lift of geo roll. To do this we rolled out the geo roll parallel to the stream bank and left a 70 centimeters to be anchored along our exposed soils. The remaining 130 centimeters would later be folded over to create the lift and our next pad. Once the geo roll is in place, parent soils are placed on the anchored portion and grass seed is cast over the soils. This will promote growth of vegetation later on. The video shows how the crew worked to create each lift and anchor it using the stakes. It was labor intensive but with good planning and coordination the crew and excavator could work together and quickly complete the site. You can see the crew using their knees to pull the geo roll tight to the soil to maximize the use of the roll. For this task, we recommend that staff use knee pads to prevent injury. The anchor stakes for the second lift serve to secure the top of the first lift and the bottom of the second. This reduces the number of stakes and also reduces the tearing in the geo roll. Here are a few more photos of the first phase of the installation of the geo rolls. The surplus clean fill material was later removed as we repaired the site for riparian planting. With grass seed generously dispersed within the geo rolls, it was important to water the site as it was completed. A deep watering would help the seed but also help the site settle. Throughout the work it was cool to watch as black nosed dace, seen here, and other fish navigated up and down the adjacent river channel. One of the advantages of using Giro is that you can plant right through it, and that greatly helped in phase two of the project where we were planting riparian zone vegetation. The KWRC strives to use only native stock trees. These were supplied by a local nursery. We also then install our riparian zone stop sign to in indicate to the farmer or landowner where the riparian setback is. Though more costly, a few caliper stock trees provide a better visual cue to the improvement made on the site. As a final step, the KWRC installed willow stakes along the bottom lift out to the water line. These willows will grow and add biodiversity and stability to the site well into the future. By the fall, 
the site was already much greener and was holding high water conditions. The advantage of having a backsole bank is that it gives more capacity to the floodplain, as you can see here. The following spring, we watched the site as spring floods receded and the site held up extremely well. And again, it connected the river more effectively to its floodplain. As spring turned to summer, we readily noticed how much greener the site was. The result is a stream bank that the farmer can plan around, a reduction in unwanted sediments and nutrients into the stream, an improved wildlife corridor along the stream, and a shaded stream that remains cooler and cleaner for fish and other aquatic species.